guys, this is Mike Quick Sandpile. I'm a welterweight fighter in the UFC. And uh, today we're gonna work on a little bit of grappling, but in order for the grappling to get to the ground, hey, we gotta wrestle, right? So let's work on some things today. The tip of the day is gonna be the double leg, and to help me with this is gonna be Nick. It's my buddy Nick. Also trains here at Extreme Couture. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna work on the, we're gonna work on the double. When my opponent, when I make my opponent get where I need him to be, which is close to a barrier, and what I mean barrier is a cage or ropes, whatever fighting ring or cage that you're in, you're gonna use it, okay? So when my opponent throws the jab, I'm gonna make sure my hands are up, I'm gonna slip. Now I don't wanna slip with my hands all the way down here because if he has a nice uppercut coming, maybe I'm gonna get hit with that. I don't wanna get hit, okay? Yes, I'm a fighter, but I don't like to get hit, okay? So when I slip, my hands are up. In case this right hand comes, no problem, I'm ready for that. I'm gonna take a deep step in and immediately I'm gonna grab the thighs of my opponent, okay? Now as I begin to run to the fence, I wanna make sure that I'm not bent over this way. Because in wrestling they have a, is a sprawl. And if he sprawls on me like this, he, I bear all the weight of him on my back. I don't wanna have that. So when I make that initial shot, I'm gonna slip under his jab and my body stays as, as upright as possible. Now my legs are gonna do the work here. Begin to drive. Nick back, as I drive Nick back, I'm gonna wait for one second that when we start to come off of these ropes, I wanna then pick my opponent up and take him off his feet. Yes, I can connect my hands. Is it necessary? No. But remember, keep a good straight back. Drive, as he bounces off the, off the ropes, lift, sweep him underneath my chin. Legs go underneath my chin, it's very important. Now from here, I'm gonna drop my body weight down, and my shoulder, we're gonna drive into his chest. Initially making a very hard slam onto the ground. Yes, it could take my opponent out nine times out of 10, it does not, so don't depend on that. Once I've driven him to the ground, this knee goes underneath, this elbow goes tight here. I like to go underneath the head here, okay? Because probably what Nick's gonna do is try to turn into me and get up. But if I've got him locked here, it's easier. Whereas if I just kind of lay across, he's got an easier escape. I want to make it as easy as possible. So once he's down to the ground, hand under the neck, elbow on the, uh, on the hip, knees underneath. This takes Nick's hips away, okay? And guys, that's how you do a double leg.